I'm speed running the fastest time to get a community strike on YouTube. So I was like, how do I do that? Makeshift flamethrower. Which the more and more I think about it, the worse and worse of an idea it sounds like. Take hairspray, disgusting. Take the hairspray, spray it, even worse, ignite it. Boom, now we have a fire. Put an Arduino on there, wire it straight up, and then all of a sudden, one Yu-Gi-Oh style fusion dance later, we have our final wondrous product. Is flamethrower, maybe. So here we are a little while later with the actual prototype of the weapon, which is probably even more dangerous than the final version in all likelihood. There's a few things you should notice. We have a servo here, which is pulling this plug on the back, sort of the butt of the weapon, which is, of course is going to spray up the spray. they blown by this fan, which can then be ignited for the desired effect. Two small problems. One, the fan blows the fire out every time, and two, not enough power provided by the batteries to make the whole machine go. Two solutions. One, double the power voltage with this mobile phone battery, which we can just plug straight into the Arduino. And two, take a piece of paper, scrunch it up, and then we have a wick. And this trigger, which I made, is actually going to attach. However, I'll show you this version working now. We can put this here. I'll just hold it with my hand. Uh, this is now actually going to be, of course, but prototypes, right? I guess you can't really see it on camera. Let it run for a second. And now... And that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a really scary, don't do this inside, I'm a bad role model.